sort of back. Yeah, it's, uh, it's great to have him out there. Um, happy for him. You know, he's obviously he's going to be a game changer for us. And just to see him out there, back to back to playing again. Uh, you know, as, as a friend of his, I, uh, I'm happy for him. And you can, I'm sorry, you can see the tempo of practice and even the trash talking improving now. <laughs> yeah, he always makes uh, the intensity go up. You know, he does no lack of talking or communication in that in that respect. That's for sure. And you know, he's uh, you know he's playing really well. I mean, for, for a guy that's been out for so long to be making the shots he's making and, and playing the defense he does, um, it's pretty impressive. You surprised? No, I'm not surprised. You know, I, I know he's been working extremely hard to get back out there for, for, the, for this moment. And, uh, you know, so I don't think he surprises anybody with anything he does. He was saying yesterday that when he came back and put that jersey on for the first time on Saturday, he definitely had that new appreciation for being out here on the practice floor and smiling. Could yeah. you guys get a sense if there was something extra special going on with him being back? Um, not in the moment, but, but I know what he's talking about. I've been injured before and been out for a while. and. You know, it just it just feels good. You know, it's kind of hard to describe a little bit when you come back from an injury and get back out there with the, there with the guys and that get that competitive edge again. Um, yeah, so I know what he's talking about. Yeah. Did you feel like any of the younger guys were kind of giddy that he was back or a little nervous at all to go against him, like ex playing defense on or anything like that? No, I think it just makes them play harder. I mean, obviously they respect everything he's done and have an appreciation for him, but we have guys that compete and you know. Xavier is one of those guys that doesn't matter who you are, he's going to compete hard no matter what. So uh, I don't think that that's the case. How good the guys his basketball team be once he's back and back to form? How good? I don't know. I mean, that's yet to be seen. Um, he'll make us a better team on both ends of the floor. And uh, But do I know how much better we'll be? I don't know how much better, but we'll, we'll be good. Is there any risk of guys thinking, okay, everything's going to be okay when Kobe's back? I mean, you still have to keep working and, and everybody doing their own thing. Yeah, there's no there's no risk of that. We understand, you know, he's still one guy and it's a team game. We have to put it together as a group. Um, and that'll be a process in itself with him coming back. So we have a lot to work on. Steve, do you know how many office pools there are around town <laughs> as to when he's going to come back? Do you guys have a pool of your own on the team? No, we... We are not allowed to gamble. Um, I don't know. I'm sure there's a lot of people with speculating. Do you ever yeah. have any talks with Kobe while he was out before he got to return to the practice court just about how hard it was on him or how much he missed it or anything of that nature? No, I mean, we've, we've talked casually about his injury. I'm always asking him how he's doing, how he's feeling, and, you know, we talked for a little bit, but that's, that's the extent of it.